Today, I want to talk about battery. As I've shown in my other videos, I use a lot of batteries for portable operation. This is a sealed lead acid 12 volt 20 amp hour battery that is part of one of my systems. I typically run it using power poles to my radios and it has a permanent attachment for the charger that I use for this. This charger is always hooked up to the radio so the radio is always up to appropriate power levels as it does a good job of actually maintaining the battery. So now it's started charging and the battery's at 95%, so it will take very little time for it to do that. This charger can give me up to six amps. On the back of the charger is a hook, so you can hang it from something. So this works really well for sealed lead acid batteries. It's pretty straightforward and, and solves my problem rather inexpensively. But the sealed lead acid battery has a couple of issues that I'd like to talk about. The first thing is uh, number of charge cycles. These batteries can be charged between 300 and 400 times before they start failing. Um, now, they're inexpensive and easy to replace, but that charge cycle is, is problematic. The second thing is their discharge voltage curve. In other words, as the battery discharges, the voltage drops off rather dramatically, and that affects uh, radio transmitter output power. So it's time, I think, to look at an additional battery type, uh, and that's what I'm going to do next here. We're going to bring in a different kind of battery and talk about it for just a moment. So this is a good place to start. This battery is physically just a little bit bigger than... The, the expert power one there, this is BioEno. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So the sealed lead acid battery is a 20 amp hour battery. This battery is a 40 amp hour battery. So twice the power is one thing. The other thing is this battery weighs 12 and a half pounds. This battery weighs 10 and a half pounds. So this battery is twice the power for less weight significant advantages to this battery. Charging this battery is a little bit more complicated. Inside of this pack is what's called a battery maintenance system. That battery maintenance system monitors these batteries to ensure appropriate performance, charging and discharging, and prevents you from damaging the battery. There's two connectors. This is the connector for connecting to your devices. This is the connector for charging. I use a different charger. This, this is the BioNO 10 amp charger, which is more power than this battery needs, but this is one of the ones I can use if necessary. So that combination is physically just about the same, twice the current capability and the same weight. So some significant advantages to lithium iron phosphate batteries. So for the second part of this, I want to talk more about the portable radio system that I'm constructing uh, currently. <clears throat> so I'm going to get the expert power battery out of the space here, and we're going to go bring in something that I just found recently. As I discussed before, I'm setting up a new ham radio station that is for portable operation. And I'm going to include this BioNO battery in that station. In order to do that, I need some way of connecting all the equipment. And my first video, I used a bunch of different cabling methodologies and so forth. And upon further research, I have found what I think is a better way for me to do the whole system. So the folks at PowerWorks have this device, which is their Megabox Portable. And basically, it's a plastic ammo box that they have pre-wired 
with appropriate components necessary for setting up a ham radio station or mobile operations, etc. So inside, you have the connection for the higher power batteries. You have some outputs. I'll show those in just a minute. And uh, you have some connections to an LED light that is on the outside. On the top of the battery box, we have a USB power delivery, standard USB-C, and standard USB-A. 4.8 amps of USB, standard USB-A, two ports. I'm going to run the Raspberry Pi and something else off of that. A 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. Two sets of outputs for radios, etc., using power poles and some binding posts. This power switch turns this bank of things off because these actually draw power. Not a lot, but they draw power when they're turned on, so this saves your battery. On this side is the light power switch and a mode selection for the light. So the first part of this process is going to be install the BioNO battery in the case. The folks at PowerWorks gave us some nice Velcro. And I'll put this in so that the connectors are closer to here. And I have the feeling the weight of the battery will just very nicely settle that Velcro in. Connections made. Thirteen point seven volts. I would say we're up and running. Solves a myriad of problems for me, makes my life a lot easier, and I think is a very interesting piece of equipment. We'll see how it works in the field over time. I think that's reasonably bright. The flashing modes are interesting at best.